Hey humans, so you guys have probably already seen part one of how to make custom decals, um, which was these, the Norco logos in Chrome. Uh, click up here if you guys want, if you guys haven't checked it out, please do. Uh, sorry about the mess in the house, it's, everything's everywhere right now. They're essentially all the parts that's gonna go on this bike. Um, but I am waiting on a headset and that's why I can't build it up yet and that's why it's pretty much chaos in my living room. But figured with the time I've got right now for, you know, waiting for that headset to come in, I'm just gonna keep doing stuff with the frame. <laughs> so I have wrapped, I mean, I wrapped the seat stay for, the chain stay for shoe rub and stuff and got the chain protector and all that stuff done. But now let's actually do some, um, some actual graphics and stuff with more vinyl. So this is custom vinyl with, you know, scissors, knife, whatever you have in your household, minus the vinyl. Or you can actually just get stickers off beer bottles and stuff and do that. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, yeah. So the first thing we're gonna do is make templates for your vinyl and cut it with scissors, just like we did with these logos right here. Um, you already know I don't own a ruler because I'm broke as hell, so please click that subscribe button so that there are more subs and I will get more revenue from YouTube and I'll eventually be able to afford a ruler. But till then, we're just going to use the, mas the masking tape. And the cool thing on masking tape, it's, it's already nice and straight and it doesn't really stretch so it will maintain its form and that's what we used for the vinyl to help maintain its form and not stretch as well. So let's do this. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna take this masking tape right here and I am going to just use the edge and line that up with where I want my tape to go. Try your best, once again, just like those decals, to not fold it. Make sure everything is nice and flat when they go down so that it will sit nice and flat on your decal. Oh, on the vinyl. Let's get another strip and, you know, do the same thing. And line it up on the other side and, you know, make sure everything is nice and straight and flush, I guess. I think that's pretty good. Now, if you really wanted to do, do this and be hella pro, you wouldn't just eyeball this. But I'm not hella pro and I think this is going to look pretty sick, so. Now, this is probably a lot easier if your tubes actually have lines on them. <laughs> so once you've done that, make sure everything's nice and flush so that when you transfer it over to the vinyl, it's gonna, you know, sit nice and flush. Alrighty, now, just like the logos, we're gonna mark where we're gonna cut. So right here, I'm gonna wanna cut right there. As for the top tube, just like that. Simple. Alrighty, so now that we have all that masked and I've already marked where I'm gonna cut, but I'm gonna carefully, very carefully peel this off without tearing it um, because it is paper based. So, yeah. And then I'm just gonna put it on that. Careful when you're doing this, do not fold it, do not tear it, especially where there are bends and relief cuts. Um, so, be very, very careful. Oh, here's a tricky one. Boom. And now we put it on the vinyl. And there we have our first template. Oh yeah, let's see how this looks. Alrighty, now we're gonna cut very, very carefully along the masking tape and the marked stuff. Like, very, very carefully. <laughs> so, cut and uh, let's see if it works. I'm gonna alcohol it a little bit. Wipe it off, make sure it's nice and clean. Let it dry. This is water and a little bit of dish soap. 
because this decal is actually wider and bigger than the small ones, um, yeah, a little dish soap's gonna help it like squeeze nice and flat and you can like push out all the water a lot easier um, so you don't get any wrinkles and stuff. So yeah, I didn't use dish soap for this stuff, but this one I'm definitely going to just a little bit, even though it might take a little longer to, to stick and dry. And as I mentioned before, the, uh, the masking tape is actually really, really good because it helps keep the thing, the vinyl flat and straight so it doesn't stretch. So it helps keep its form. So yeah, line it all up. And then proceed to move from the inwards outward so you're pushing all that dish soap away outside of the decal so you know massage it in oh yeah oh yeah but yeah this is what you start doing when you know you're waiting for bike parts and you can't build a bike all under nice and flush now it would be nice to actually have a heat gun as well to make it you know conform to the shapes and all that fun stuff but once again you are watching the mr. percussive channel and we are broke and we do stuff on the cheap so no heat gun uh, no hair dryer either <laughs> all right gonna peel the masking tape off and do that without peeling off the vinyl. Oh, that is sick. A little uh, more water and dish soap on top. Help massage out all the bubbles you see. Damn, that is blingy, eh? That is very, very bling, guys. You see how bling that is? Woo! I can't even tell you how bling this is. This is very bling. Guys, this is my frame wrap. <laughs> A very, very blingy frame wrap. Am I about to have the most blingiest Norco on the planet? Quite possibly. Yeah guys, this is all cut with masking tape and scissors. Oh, will you look at that. Yeah, this is gonna be one very, very bling Norco, isn't it? Um, my only worries right now is, uh, you know, I'm gonna be blinded by how shiny it is. And uh, my videos are gonna also be blinded by how shiny it is, but I like shiny things. So, um, I'm gonna continue and finish the rest of this, and uh, yeah. There you have it, y'all. Check that out. Ooh, look at those lines. Yeah, I think I'm pretty much done with all the chrome, because if I do any more, it might be a little overkill, eh? But yeah, that thing's gonna be sick once it's a bike. But anyways, guys, don't forget to, you know, click here to subscribe. Click here for the other video where I did the, uh, the Norco logo decals. And click for something else. I'll catch you all later. Yo!